Welcome back. It's time for our second hot topic. And the price of diesel is still rising and has been projected to go as high as 1,500 naira a litre. And just like petrol, diesel prices are a critical source of pain for the economy because they affect the cost of practically every product. And so I want to take a look at this. And we have been joined by Chief Okadike Chinedu. He is Ipman's national publicity um, public relations officer. Good morning to you, Chief Okadike. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning to Nigerians. All right, so Ipman, just in case you're wondering, but I imagine you already know, Ipman, uh, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, is Ipman, and uh, we need to find out from them what's going on. Chief, as far back as January 2022, we saw the price of diesel rise by 184% from January to December in 2022. Nigerians cried and cried because, I mean, it affected everything. And here we are hearing that it's going to go for up to 1,500 naira. Uh, the cost of diesel is not regulated by government. Could this be a major reason? Could this be the major factor at play here? Well, uh, thank you very much. The diesel has been deregulated for a very uh, long period of time. Mm -hmm. And I also want to inform you that there's only uh, like two company, two Muna refineries in Nigeria that are producing diesel. That is Nanda Delta Refinery and Water Smith Refinery at uh, Imo State. This other one is at River State. And uh, I also know that the diesel they are producing is not sufficient enough uh, because of their, the capacity of their plant and also uh, lack of crude because most of them has complained uh, at, at some interface with some of the managing directors of the company that they are not receiving crude, they are sourcing crude uh, so difficult for them and uh, that is why they could not be able to uh, produce at a very uh, larger quantity and the issue of uh, MNPC selling crude to them at uh, dollar rate is also an issue. So, which also in one of my interview that uh, I also took it up with the um, NMPC that uh, the sale of crude should be domesticated in our uh, exchange rate rates of Naira. Mm -hmm. So, the diesel has been deregulated. When the Kachuku came in, uh, diesel was deregulated. DPK, that's domestic purpose kerosene, was also deregulated. It is now left on the hands of uh, importers to be able to import in the uh, current uh, uh, market price and also exchange it and also building in their logistics before it will now land at the shores of Nigeria. And you also understand that the facilities are being, that are being used are not government facilities. These facilities also put in care their input, inputs and also uh, their logistics. So then you will see, as far as the uh, price of crude oil in the international market goes up, and the exchange rates continue to go up, the price of diesel skyrockets. One doesn't understand why the local refiners should be sold at dollar rate, and you said it has been addressed. And um, do, what's the response from NNPCL? Well, the information I'm, I'm getting from one of the managing directors of uh, one of the modular refineries is that in uh, uh, recent time that MNPC has tried as much as possible to supply them uh, crude. You know, it's not, it's not our function. Our function is to go there and buy petroleum products, you know, as, 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 as they were. But because we are also buyers and also Nigerians, mm -hmm. that is why sometimes we also raise our voices, you know, on the issue so that we will not suffer. We are the independent marketers. We are the last benchmark mm. in terms of uh, uh, distributing this product. So the the the, the, the cry about the issue of uh, sourcing this crude and uh, the the rates of the crude. And at the end of the day, as I'm talking to you, NNP, uh, NDPR are selling their diesel at the cost of uh, close to 900 or something naira, mm. as, as if it was also like imported. So uh, we are now trying to look at the effects of these modular refineries and the imported products. I don't think any more difference between them. So we, the federal government needs to look into all these things and see how we can be able to supply to this. So the government can be able to sell these products 
at a very, very, very friendly price. Indeed, and even the importers of diesel. Uh, would, you, would you say that the removal of excise duties and perhaps the reduction of uh, VAT would also play a good, uh, you know, role in bringing down these prices? There's, there's something like uh, that all those things are if it is similar to the cost of the product because the dollar is going high. You use dollar to buy this product. The dollar is going high from from four something from our exchange rate to six something, six seven fifty, seven fifty to eight hundred. If there's, the dollar is skyrocketing, I was skyrocketing. It is also equivalent to what they are buying this product. They are not buying this product on, with naira. They are buying with dollar. Once somebody do this type of exchange rate, goes to the market, international market, to buy. And when it comes back here, the money is confiscated to Naira. And we also need to buy another dollar uh, for us from, from the private market, which whatever the private market gives is all that they will buy. Now, as, I, as I'm talking this morning, I heard that dollar is 1,000 Naira uh, to $100. Mm -hmm. Do I have to be able to reconcile that? We may do some substantive things that can be able to bring back our give weight to our Naira. And our Naira is quite fading away. So it is also important that various governments should look at the refineries. People exporting uh, refined petroleum products can also face us the, um, dollars. And this will be able to strengthen our Naira. Our Naira is dying. Every day the economy is dying. Every is no diving. So we cannot just talk about uh, what are they doing. We are also, also facing the financial uh, crisis in the independent marketers. We are facing serious financial crisis. The PMS will normally buy at 8.1 million there now. We are buying it at 25 million. The HO is, uh, is, uh, is almost uh, 45 million. As I'm talking to you now, for you to buy 30,000 liters of HO, it's around 45 million. And when you put your 45 million on the bad road, the located road, potholes here and there, and the security. Even buying product now, you see the MDs climbing the truck using that vehicle to escort it so that uh, it will not be wallet on the road. Indeed. Uh, would you say that this rising cost of diesel has garnered enough attention by the government as it should? No, the, 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 issue, the issue here is that once there is high cost of diesel, definitely the domestic prices of articles, holdings, and services will also increase. Mm -hmm. if, if our vessel charges has increased before they used to take eight something thousand, hundred thousand dollars for a modern vessel to take product to a certain place. Now the vessel charges is almost going close to two hundred thousand dollars. So it's becoming very, very uh, exorbitant. And the, most of these trucks that are taking product, uh, cash produce from the north to the east, the southeast, some southeast to the north. They are almost spending two million naira to, to a kind of uh, dispatch the driver in buying diesel. And all those things are built into this commodity. A two bar of yam can, can be, cannot be sold less than a thousand five hundred naira. A sensible two bar of yam for a thousand five hundred to four thousand. This allowance will get three hundred naira before four hundred five hundred naira. Just to mention a few commodities. I'm talking about the, the ones that are not even produced, uh, that, um, uh, that, are, that are produced in Nigeria here. Mm. So we also have to look at agriculture. We also have to look at our own infrastructure. Because even the parts of most of these vehicles are also imported. We also search for us to be able to get the parts of these vehicles and, and, and repair some of our vehicles. Indeed, the Naira so, should be strengthened. On a final note, before we go, Chief Okadike, how should our policymakers be addressing the impact of this on our economy? We have a very serious problem. We have good policymakers. They come with a very uh, good, uh, what I call a power, PowerPoint display policy that uh, are not rudimentary, are not contemporary with what is in, inherited in the society. In addition of removal of subsidy when the president made that statement, this thing would have been gradually by repairing the refineries, by putting some structures, by posting agricultural distance, all these things are supposed to take place simultaneously with the removal of subsidy. So that Nigerians will not feel the impact. You understand me? The sense of uh, issue of uh, policy maker say uh, we'll do palliative. What are you doing palliative? Palliative, you give somebody in the village four cups of rice when they bring 100 bags of rice. 
if the woman goes home with only four cups of rice in a small fermenting bag, is that palliative? Eat today and die tomorrow. So and that is uh, the kind of policies that our policymakers are making without recourse to the impulse of what is coming from the society. You must have to be able to take note of what is coming from the society, the output from the society, so that you can be able to make a significant and very, very sustainable policy that can, that can limit and uh, subdue the hunger of the people. Well, thank so you. now, in our filling stations, we can even sell uh, one truck of uh, petrol in, in three days. Because Nigerians are not dying. Hmm. Nobody is dying. They need money to buy. They need money to buy. And, and it's, ex money. it's exorbitant. Well, thank you, Chief Ukadike Chinedu, for your time on uh, the show this morning. Thank you very much. Chief, Chief Ukadike Chinedu uh, has been my guest on the program. He is the Public Relations, National Public Relations of Ipman. And that's the show we have for you today and uh, indeed the week. I am Maureen Menong Wezigwe. Many thanks for being a part of the show. On behalf of the team, I say thank you. And don't forget, you can join us um, on social media. Let's continue the conversations there. Have a great week. <laughs>